Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and today I'll be showing you how to take out and use a receiver from an old RC car. So before I bought my hobby grade transmitter and receiver, I used to take them out of old RC cars and use them in my creations. And although it is very simple and easy to do, I have had quite a few people ask about it. So instead of writing it out and trying to explain it in the comments, I decided to make today's video and show you how I do it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here's an RC car I bought from Walmart for about 12 bucks. And if you look right here, you can see it operates off 27 megahertz. And the reason why I point that out is because if you buy two of these cars and they both operate off 27 megahertz, if you drive them within the range, which is 80 feet of one another, you will not be able to control them because each car will be responding to both remotes. But there is a way to avoid this, and that would be making sure that the second car ran off a different frequency. For instance, 49 megahertz. That way you could drive the two cars right next to each other with next to no interference. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the car out of the box. So now since we have it out of the box, we can go ahead and set the remote aside since we're not going to be taking it apart or modifying it anyway. And we can focus on the car itself. And it's actually a decent looking little car. It's modeled after a Ford Raptor. Yo mama is so stupid, she stared at a Ford for an hour because it said focus. Oh, I, I'm just kidding. I'm sure your mother is wonderful. Please don't unsubscribe. So now we're going to want to get some screwdrivers and take off the main body so that we can get to the receiver. Now since the body's off, we can use our screwdriver once more and take the cover off of the receiver. And now we can actually see the receiver. So now for this particular car, we have a very unique setup. We have wires coming from each one of the motors and they simply plug in to the receiver. So we could just simply go and unplug the wires from the receiver, but we're going to need the wires in order to plug in the receiver into our new project. So what we're going to do is we're going to take wire cutters and we're going to cut the wires at the base of each motor. We can still use these motors for another project, we'll just have to solder new wires on first. It'll be way easier to solder wires onto the motors than it would be the receiver. So now since the wires are cut, we're going to want to remove the receiver. For most RC cars, all you have to do is remove a few screws and the whole motherboard pops right out. But for this particular car, the receiver is attached to the battery holder beneath. So what I had to do is remove the back wheels and then the whole center assembly pops out of the car. Just like that. And this setup is actually really nice because it takes the battery holder with it so you don't have to solder a new one on. Now since we finally have it out, you can go ahead and put this into any creation you can imagine. For example, if you're wanting to wire the receiver into a two-wheeled vehicle like this, where each wheel has its own motor, the easiest way to do that would be to connect each set of wires to its own motor. That way, each thumb would control its own wheel. This would be forward and back for one wheel and forward and back for the other. There is a way to make it to where this is forward and back and left and right for the whole robot, but you'd have to build your own small circuit board. Wiring one set of wires to each motor is by far the easiest route to go. And of course, using a cheap RC car's receiver and transmitter by no means replaces a hobby grade one, but it is an excellent way to get started. And there you have it, how to take a receiver out of an old RC car. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Friday. Thank you for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.